People crave my food every day, so I need to wake up and then give them the best I can. Cheflu is a food entrepreneur, creative enthusiast, party guy, events guy, um, talent manager. I mean, a lot of things in one person. After school, then it was time to make this, the, the big decision what do you want to do now that you're done with school. So I said, I can do a lot of things. First of all, I know myself, I have like a very big entrepreneurial mind and I have a lot of other things I could do. So I said, I needed to pick one thing that I know I could basically put every other thing in. So one business, one field that you can express your creativity, your marketing abilities. I mean, just one field that you could basically put every other thing in. So then I just thought about that and I just said, okay, yeah, food. There was not really a thing of cooking at any point. I mean, I was just a guy that enjoyed cooking because I had to cook right from when I was a kid for my parents and for my siblings. I had to do that from a young age. But it wasn't a thing. I never assumed if anybody had told me that I would celebrate an egg to make money, I probably would cause the person back because it's not something that I ever thought to happen to me like at the end of the day. A lot of food business I realized that I was actually more even welcoming than just selling food. So I said, okay, you know what? Let's set up a, a lounge. Let's set up a social house where, you know, you could do more of the things that you do. I started doing events like alongside my food business. I did my first event. I was in like 2018 or so. And then it went very well. So I just said, okay, I need to get somewhere where I can like express myself, my creativity in many more ways. Like my whole events thing. Let me do many more events. Let me do many, let me find more ways to, you know, um, have people together in one space, experience good food and um, good music and good vibes and all that stuff. So yeah, I decided to start up 60 by Chef Lou. One of the things I do is I always try to make sure we have different menus for different kind of events. But I always wanted it to be a way where even if I have different menu for different events, first of all, I don't need to start printing um, menu every time. I also will know, I will also like to be able to take like proper, proper inventory stock, proper, proper sales um, details, accounting details for all those things that I do. When I found like a um, number solution like for it, I spoke with one of the reps from Numba and I told him, well, this is my problem. And then he said, oh yeah, we have the solution to that. And they brought up like the menu option where I can actually always edit the menu that I have there and people just need to scan to see the menu. So when guests come, all they need to just do is like just scan the menu. They have the menu on their phone and then they pick what they want at the end of the day. And then their order comes in on our own back end and we know like what customer ordered this. At the end of the day, we even if a customer is ordering like multiple times, they can just like select whatever payments they want to make by themselves. Basically like an electronic waiting system which makes it more convenient for us instead of having to scribble things on paper and having to show people printed menus every time, having to print multiple menus and having to take like separate accounting details for all those things at the end of the day. Chef Lou, the Lou itself is L-U, not L-O-U or L-O-O, and it's not, it is L-U. And I got out the L-U from my name, Olumide. That's my second name and my favorite name, Olumide. So I just got out the O and the Mide. So I mean, before I came up with that name, I wrote like seven of my names down and I said eliminating options one after the other. And I just said, oh, Lou is actually the most catchy of them. And um, he creates um, questions. And in the middle of questions and mystery and answering of those questions, then there is purchase. So, I mean, in curiosity, there is purchase. So if as a market, if you know how to convert people's curiosity into them patronizing you, then it's a good thing. So create the question, create the mystery, let people get curious, and then that's your chance to sell. Mm -hmm.